The Gen 2 Slider, Slider LT, is a proper enduro bike. 160 front and rear, and built to be race ready, right from the box. With the slider, there's no holding back on spec. Featuring a 35mm Revelation 160mm fork, coupled with a Rock, RockShock Monarch RC3 Plus, piggyback rear shock, suspension is ready to make anything of any trail. The brakes are Shimano's M6000 Dior's, gives you great power modulation and running on a 203 front rotor and a 180 rear rotor, both ice deck, there's plenty of stopping power. The slider uses burst LT suspension. Long travel and dare specific suspension. That small bomb compliant and big it capable. Super short links to give you a lot of stiffness and a solid rear triangle to, to eliminate flex and unnecessary pivots. Damping is handled by a Rock Shock Monarch RT3 Plus piggyback shock. This is probably my pet height. Ego engaged. Climbs a bit easier than 29ers. So that also helps quite a bit with these steep climbs. It feels lively on normal single track. We're not just going down also. But for everyday trails and enduro races, this is the bike you want. Suspension feels floppy over route. You're on trail, and when you're on downhill, it soaks up bumps and big hits without leaving your spine tingling. The geometry on the slide LT between traditional enduro geometry and hyper modern fast forward type geometry. It's quite slack, head angle 65 degrees. It's got a flip jab to lower and raise the BB. And in doing so, giving you a lower, bit slacker bike, or giving you something to get a bit more rock clearance for climbing. Currently I've got it in slow setting, because why not? And that's the very top, top of the world. The handlebars are also 35mm oversized bars, so there's very little flex on this front end. Uh, stealth dropper, internally routed, with, a, with an underbar lever. The slider LT is a well specced bike. It's tubeless ready, so right from the box, I could just set up the tubeless and set the suspension to pressure, and I'm riding it as I took it out the box. Only things on here that's mine is the pedals. Everything else is stock standard. This bike climbs good, and not just for an aero bike. It climbs good for a trail bike. It's a super capable on even the most technical of climbs. Climbing steep terrain is easy, and the front wheel doesn't feel light. And now that we've had a quick bike check up here, we're going to hit the downhills, my favorite part of Helderberg. There's just an array of trails, rocky, technical, fast flowing, there's loads of jumps and I'm just going to hit them all. See you at the bottom. Rolling back to your car, it's easy to reflect on a good ride. Just as easy to reflect on a bad one. That was a good ride. That was a very good ride. Phew. This bike is Indira ready, it's trail ready. It's a, it's a very, very well priced bike to get anybody riding Enduro. 